HVAC with Stephen Rarden is sponsored by True Tech Tools. Quality tools, essential support. TrueTechTools.com. All righty. At this point, we have the all of the ductwork um, masked off. We're using some of the um, vent cover boxes, but I don't have enough for all of the registers in my house. So we've taped a bunch more. There's our primary return. It is the one closest to the air handler. It does not have a filter in it. It, My system has a large media filter at the air handler. Everything's closed up and I'm running on to duct leakage by itself. All right, we are engaging the duct tester and I think it's on, yep, it's getting spooled up. We are on uh, range 74. So we may theoretically have trouble reaching 25. But I'm going to be patient because we are at only 40% fan and impatience is not a virtue. Five point one percent. That's pretty crazy. I have no idea what the other um, test data was prior to this. I do not remember that far back. I can check it, but I don't remember. So, five point one CFM per one hundred. I could probably, you know, do another test and pass. But um, it is what it is at the moment. We're going to let it ride and continue. Alrighty, the next step of this process is to measure duct leakage to outside. And that means that we have the blower door running at 25 Pascal, and then we set pressure to zero on the duct tester. And then the duct tester will attempt to run until the pressure is zero. And that will give us our leakage to outside of this duct system. The bad thing is I wasn't paying any attention to the actual CFM number, but I think we're probably, I don't remember. We'll have to look it up. Okay, 94 CFM. Fifty-six, fifty-seven. We're in that range. And that is about I don't know, let me figure out the math. Our total flow was ninety-three point four five CFM. And we've got basically 57 CFM of leakage. So the math on my duct leakage test indicates that about 60%, 57 out of 94, 
of my duct leakage is wasted to outside the envelope of the house. So out of 94 CFM, 57 of those CFMs um, go into my attic or escape from the house outside the conditioned space. By matching the blower door pressure to the duct tester, we are able to isolate that leakage to detrimental or bad leakage. Any leakage that contributes to the home is leakage, but generally considered good leakage. Um, and that would be, what, 94 and 57? I'm really bad with math. 37 CFM of that leakage is beneficial to the house. Um, so that's interesting. I definitely know there's a couple of spots that are problematic with my system. Um, one of them is the TUD2B060 uh, train air handler or train furnace is not a very airtight blower compartment. It is mechanically closed with no gaskets on the top and the bottom where the door latches down. When I replace the system, I will at this point likely be going for an S8 um, model furnace and that blower compartment is significantly less leaky than the um, one on the TUD uh, air handler. So that and a couple of other minor things we could definitely be code compliant. Um, I'm wondering if there would be any value in uh, attempting to do an aero seal job on my duct system because there is definitely duct within the ceiling encasement um, and in the walls so there's definitely leakage there that you can't physically get to unless you gut the house and since I own the aero seal equipment it wouldn't be particular particularly expensive for me to deal with it um, but it's a thought maybe it would be fun to show that in the video. That's where we're at for now. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.